Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and merciful. Rabbi Sharli Sadri, wa Salli Amri, wa Halul Udatan Milisani Yafko Koli. The topic of today's presentation is about a tutorial that is being compiled for the practitioners of the airport or the managers of the airport and this is to know which aircraft is to be allowed to land in your particular runway. Technically, this is known as knowing the PCN ACN number of an air of an airport. Now this is for this is a standardized method for reporting airport pavement strength, and this is according to a cow one FAA one fifty oblique five double three five five A. And obviously, I am Adnan Kadir uh, presenting you this thing. Now, why why this is being presented is because many of my students uh, working in the airport, they face every now and then this question whether this type of particular aircraft that will be an what what we call a next generation aircraft will be allow will be coming to our airport and how we are going to allow them. So one, obviously, the first thing is the geometry, whether the width of the aircraft, the width of the existing runway, the, with the existing infrastructure, the aprons, the taxiways, the distance between the taxiways and distance between the taxiway and the runway, whether this will be enough to allow a wider body aircraft these days or and not only that but it's also worth to know whether the pavement has a strength to allow this much loading of a, a new aircraft. Obviously FAA and ICAO has made certain sterilization and over the years this has been a normal uh, practice uh, in terms of calculating load classification number of an airport. Now this technique has now been replaced by calculation of AC and ACN and uh, PCN. Uh, I have adopted a very simple approach, just a basics, not very, may not be very much um, explained, but if someone um, knows to use Comfa, he will be easily able to report these values to their higher authorities or if he is a manager, then he will be in a better position to uh, take decisions on allowing a particular or a new generation aircraft in its area. Now, so what is that circular? This provide a, uh, this circular, as I mentioned earlier, is provide guidance using the standardization international civil aviation organization known as ICAO, to report airport pavement strength. The standardized method is known as airport classification number and the pavement classification number method. When you are able to use this method, it will be possible to express the effect of individual airplane on different pavement by a single unique number that varies according to airplane weight and configuration. Example, the tire pressure and gear geometry, gear geometry, the pavement time and the subgrade strength. 
So let's see what is an ACN number. ACN number is the expresses the relative effect of an air airplane at a given weight on a pavement structure for a specified standard subgrade strength. And we define PCN is the cap load carrying capacity of air of a pavement to allow unrestricted operations. Maybe for all of the mix of the aircraft or maybe the for the particular aircraft. So if we say the, the thing is we compare ACN value with a PCN value. If the ACN value is equal or less than PCN value, then the airplane will be allowed to use the facility. But if it is otherwise, if, if the PCN values are lesser than the ACN values, then that particular aircraft or that payment is to be revisited, maybe rehabilitated, or at least some aircraft is to be bared barred from landing on that or using that airport uh, for till the time uh, the pavement has been overlaid or new, uh, newly constructed or something that has to be done. So it's th this, this after, you know, knowing the software, after knowing the steps, one will easily uh, have the liberty to uh, allow any aircraft uh, that is to be used, that is coming to this airport pavement. I always believe that, you know, teaching by example is easier than just teaching theoretically. So I have designed a very simple example uh, so that how to use this uh, this software and uh, how to interpret the results coming out of the software. Before I move on, there must be uh, this must be uh, well known to you. Actually, uh, the standardization method. Uh, this they have devised two software. One is the application software that is known as Comfer, and they have and they are, have also provided the Excel sheet uh, that also helps in uh, knowing in have of uh, in having the inputs for the application software. So let's. Uh, let's talk about this example. Uh, it's an airport has a flexible pavement with a subgrade strength of CBR9 and traffic having the operation cross weight, traffic pressure, annual departures as shown in the toy table. The flexible pavement consists of 5 inch asphalt concrete resting on 8 inch crush aggregate base and 19 inch granular subbase. We also have to assume a parallel taxiway for the PC ratio as 2. And now we are interested in knowing the PCN of the payment and also uh, if someone is not conversant with PCN, what should be the LCN of that payment? So this is the data that can you that you uh, you can see on the screen right now what we do is the first step is obviously to open the window of confer and this window is being presented to you here the software is easily accessible it's a free uh, software that can be downloaded from FAA site and um, if if someone has uh, 
choose Firefield software for design of a new payment structure. The windows are more, uh, more or less same as of this software. Now, if you look at the detail, the windows is open, we can have three major areas. One, on the left side, there is an aircraft group uh, having uh, the data of different aircraft that is being that are being currently present um, in the aircraft industry. Uh, on the second window, you can see uh, there is tabs for uh, adding the aircraft, uh, inputting the aircraft for evaluation uh, in this software. Uh, you can have an external load file of aircraft data. Uh, you can save that external file, you can add aircraft, you can remove aircraft, and you can to open aircraft window. And if you load an external file, uh, if you um, then you will find that on the left side, uh, beneath the aircraft group, your library aircraft or the external file is being opened. If you go back to the example uh, that, is, that we are having to solve in this video, you can find all those aircraft I have already added. Now, what you need to do is very simple. You have to first start with add aircraft. And what you can do is to, you have to select, say, Airbus. And from when, when you select Airbus, all, all you need to do is to right click. You have to click this. Um, your bus or required data. For instance, how I have added air 300 B4 is just have right click. I've chosen, I've clicked the Airbus and from Airbus I design my desired aircraft. And once I click this window, I click this window, this window is open showing um, the you know, the aircraft name having main grade uh, footprint and with that there's a table here. All you need to do is to just just edit this number. If you just click on it, you will get you can easily edit your data. Some of the data is constant and some of the data you can you just have to change from here. Uh, for instance, at world departure, you can change. You can change the past traffic cycle ratio as given was true. Um, but uh, you can change the cross weight. But for, uh, for the time being, you will not be able to change the tire pressure. So what you do, you have to add all those aircraft from the left windows for from the aircraft group, uh, go to the basic aircraft, Boeing, Air Force, Airbus, military, something, and McDonnell Douglas, uh, Douglas. And then from there, you select your desired aircraft. And from desired aircraft, you, you just have to change these parameters. And every time, so you have to add this aircraft. So for instance, if you just open the B777, add it. So first change it and add it. So what would happen that once you have completed all your aircraft, and then you know what you need to do is to open aircraft window. And when you open aircraft window, these windows will be shown to you, right? Now, what you need to do was this aircraft, and you have to change the tire pressure accordingly. And you don't have to do anything. Just you have to, you know, uh, 
save the list as a new external file and that's it. So the tire pressure you change and from the save the list, you save the list. And this is what you can know. There are something that we have not changed. It's, it's you know, it's a default and that, that's, that's good. Other thing would have been uh, that instead of going for the step one, what you have done, may, you, what may, may have been done that you must have opened this, um, open the aircraft window, um, you have to add the aircraft and the selected aircraft and then you can make this table accordingly and save the list. And then what you need to do is to close this window, you are again. When you close the window, you are there. The next thing is, once you close the window, then instead of moving forward in this software, you have to have, uh, you have to have to open, there are two things that you need to um, input. Once you have saved the aircraft file, then you have to change you have to open this second software, second sheet that is Comfast Support uh, AC uh, Properties. Uh, as you can see the name, and you have to open this file. From that file, you will be shown this window. And if you are talking about, uh, since you have been given flexible PCN, you have to first go and input your thicknesses like this because um, this P401403 is the HMA surface and you can see uh, by using this FAA standard factors where you can see whatever the pavement section you have been given or the pavement section you have been had you just have to apply those given thickness here. Uh, as you know, in this example, we have said that we have assumed that the given runway that has to be evaluated from PCN has the HMA surface 5 inches, crush aggregate base 8 inches, and sub base that's 19 inches. So, what I have done. I have to select the relevant material and if you have the confusion in knowing the relevant material all you need to go is to go back to your excel file and see the guidance from guidance you can see what where you have to what is p401 oblique 3 what is echo on the concrete and there are things uh, that will be learned very easily so once you have done this and now what you need to know once you have input the thickness you will find the evaluation thickness uh, that i have circled here that you will use and this is for cbr9 at cbr9 is again the given the factor given to you so once you have done this you find this thickness the evaluation thickness now remember this evaluation thickness is needed by Comfa software. So you have to do use this software side by side. First, you open Comfa, inputs the aircraft data, then you open this Excel sheet and uh, you know calculate the evaluation thickness, and then you go back again to this Comfa software. And here you need to input CBR and evaluation thickness as highlighted here. Now for, for CBR, you have to just press at the CBR at here. If you will press here, nothing will happen. This window will open only when you click on the heading of the CBR here. So just click it. Uh, 
what you call it. Uh, right click and then, uh, uh, sorry, left click and then you'll find this window. Uh, input that is nine over here in this case. And also the evaluation thickness as we have calculated from the Excel software. So this is step four. Now you can see that uh, CBR9 has been input here as well as the evaluation thickness. The next step is to calculate PCA. For that, you have to select batch and you have to try, you have to check this box. Let, let me stop and explain to you what if if you have you want to text you have to want to evaluate the strength of an and forecasted traffic forecasted aircraft for example for instance Boeing triple seven has not used your airport payment before today or now you need to know that whether you will allow Boeing 777, then you don't need to do this. Um, all those aircraft that are being used, you need to only test that particular aircraft. For that, you may not need that batch. Instead, you just say select this uh, Boeing 777, and when you add this, you can have this as a critical aircraft. So it's you can test any aircraft uh, and a new aircraft, new generation aircraft by using this software as well. You don't need to have all the data of the, all the aircraft that is, will be using this facility, no. Here you are interested in knowing what should be the PCN of a newly designed aircraft that is will going to use your pavement and then you don't need that Tick, tick, uh, tick mark on the batch, all you need to do is the select your aircraft, make it as a critical aircraft, and then uh, put all those weights, save that external file, and uh, do it like this. You now, uh, for example, for us, we, are, uh, we know um, or the impact of all the aircraft, whether the aircraft that has been used here. Uh, do we have capability to allow them? So what we have done, so here in this example, we'll just click batch here. Then we'll right click flexible. And once you, and you can select PCN as well here. So once you do this, it will start your software and it will start calculating ACN and PCN of all the aircraft that is being used as an external uh, that is required to be elevated in this problem. What, what this software is doing is knowing the cumulative, calculating the cumulative damage factor by each of the aircraft. And this is the far field method that we already know what is what is uh, cumulative damage factor and how it is being evaluated. So again, I will not going to go into the detail, but it's just uh, telling you that uh, a process will start in which the aircraft and the software will evaluate each an aircraft using your facility or that is being here in your in this example. And after that was the software uh, stops counting and calculating and do all those windows uh, uh, we will find it as in a stagnant position or it comes to rest what you need to do is to press the detail button and once you press the detail button what would happen is that this this is on the window what what it was doing 
and then you will show this window. When you press detail, uh, obviously for the sake of uh, this thing, I've you know um, shown you some uh, relevant uh, portion of that document here. You can save this document as an output to a text file, and you will have you know that you have an aircraft. You have this value, and you will you will see this PCN values details of uh, result to you, and from there you can find that the maximum PCN value is seventy six point one. That is being required. So this is from there you can find that the Boeing 747 400 is a critical aircraft and it um, that is being using your uh, facility and then once you know this it requires maximum thickness so from there what you need to do is to again uh, this is uh, one uh, again the picture uh, on the bottom of that you have to copy this this detail and you have to copy it to the Microsoft Excel to know the further detail of this analysis here and from that the, that copied portion is to be copied at B5 and once you do this B5 then next step is you have to obviously open that data parse sheet, paste your values from Comfa Outfill file at B5, and then create flexible payment chart. What would happen is once this macros are allowed to run, you will have now you can use this sheet and actually that sheet gives you the six aircraft that will be six critical aircraft that will be using this facility so what you can do is you can enter the pcn value that has been calculated uh, unfortunately i've just uh, missed that value i've uh, i would have used 76.3 but uh, somehow i've used 71.3 but nevertheless, the process same. What you need to write is the PCN value that has been calculated from there, the highest PCN value here. And then you will, once you input this, you will find, and this you have to do in this form 5010. And then you have to just click this say form 5010 data. So what would happen that it will, on this line, it will give you the PCN number. 71 oblique F, oblique C, oblique X, oblique U. And this, all these number has the value. And this will be the PCN number of your particular section. Remember, this PCN value will be different for your different pavement for different runway. For instance, I have taken these values for Karachi Airport, that is ID has KHI and it's in Pakistan. And then I have taken the uh, right runway. Uh, we have actually two runways, two parallel runways, Karachi Airport. So we have one, uh, ID is 25, Seven. These are the bearings, and this is if you come from right, it's twenty-five uh, seven L or 
So this is the runway. Uh, and then for that ID, you have this number. PCN may be different for, for instance, um, aircraft, uh, the other runway from that will be left um, 25 seven. This can be different for different runways. So it's not identical. So that's why you can see different rows. So you can calculate different uh, runways, strength of different runways, um, and uh, different runways with the software. And it is also possible that and that one runway may not have the same strength as the other runway because um, the one runway has been you know constructed maybe a few years back now uh, the, the the new runway may be constructed say three years back so their strength may be different their cvr may be different and their payment section should have been different so that's why it is possible that your pcn number may be different for different type of the payment and by using this software, you can always calculate all in, in one window. All at the same place. All you need to do is to, you know, change the section and you can run for the same aircraft data. You can have multiple options of using this thing. That's why you can have different PCN number. Let's try to understand how this PCN number is being notified, how it is being written. So, in the next slide, you will find that this corresponds that Boeing 747 has the highest ACN number and that we know the type, the typical aircraft that has been, we had known from the analysis from Comfort and the recommended payment rating is 71FBXU. Let's see what is 71. So 71.3 actually, but we have rounded to 71. F is the type of payment. We have analyzed a flexible payment. The subgrade strength is C. Uh, it, there are four categories of subgrade strength, A, B, C, D. So this is CBR is nine, so it comes under category C. Uh, this pavement can allow tire pressures that is greater than 254 psi and this analysis has been done uh, using aircraft evaluation evaluation the other analysis is the technical evaluation it's more or less same and this comfort software allows you to do this aircraft evaluation so this is how your PCN number is calculated. And this is whenever a, a person who is being allowed to um, proceed to that particular airport, airport, he must have known that how this thing can be done. So conceptually, if a person, you know, flying 777 to the Karachi airport, he will be knowing that whether this, if he has, you know, ACN number less than, greater than 71, what he is going to do, he has, it has to come operate with a lesser weight. Because, you know, uh, while inputting the data in airport, uh, in the aircraft, one of the thing was the maximum takeoff weight. And that's, that's, that was, very critical so maybe he can he or she the aircraft um, you know the company the operating company may have to operate on this aircraft with a lesser load this this one or way of doing it the other way is not to allow uh, that aircraft uh, that particular fleet of aircraft to this destination now uh, for the people who uh, are not conversant with uh, the AC and PCN number and they are comfortable with uh, uh, LCN number, low classification number that was used uh, around 10 years ago, 
uh, they can use this chart to correlate the uh, the PCN value to the LCN number. So if the PCN value, for instance, here is 71, the LCN number is 75. So it's for the new people to communicate to the old people that this that whatever he has calculated is the old class, low classification number equivalent to 75. So that's all uh, from my presentation. I hope you have understood. And um, I also hope that you will be able now able to calculate AC and PCN of any airport. I will come up with a new presentation on payment next time. Till, till then, Allah is take good care of yourself and also allow ask some people to subscribe to my um channel if you feel it's worth enough.